Christmas time in the Premier League and the floodlights were on long before the match as Liverpool visited Stamford Bridge for a top-of-the-table clash. A venue that rarely provided much comfort and joy for Liverpool, it was six long seasons since they'd even picked up a point here. French duo Marcel Desailly and Emmanuel Petit were missing for the home side, but Graham Lasso had been declared fit. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank was top scorer with 12 goals. Liverpool were defending a record of five consecutive clean sheets, but they were without Michael Owen, who hadn't travelled because of a leg injury. Yari Lipmanen replaced him, while Igor Bishkan was preferred to Patrick Berger. Both sides had lost only twice since the season began. Could Phil Thompson's men give their recuperating manager, Gerard Houllier, a Christmas tonic? Or would Chelsea, who'd become the draw specialist of the Premier League, hold sway once again in London? A match of real importance for the visitors, who began the day nine points ahead of Chelsea in the table. Your commentator is Ian Dark. Well, is this the day that the Reds break the hoodoo that they have on visits to Stamford Bridge? That last victory here in 1989 goes right back to the days when John Barnes and Peter Beardsley were playing for them. Mind you, older Liverpool fans will remember that they did clinch the title here in 1986. Kenny Dalglish and all that. What Chelsea will turn up today, I wonder. Lampard looking to play this forward to Good Johnson. And Hasselbank is called in for his first of many conversations with the officials this afternoon. That's one thing you can be certain of in what is always an uncertain game. This is aimed towards Lippmann, but Melchiot was there and beat him in the air. Lampard. A little slip, and Herpier was able to take over. Chelsea did win at Stamford Bridge in midweek against Newcastle, and that has set them up for a glamorous Worthington Cup semi-final against Tottenham. A little knock early on for Hasselbank. Stanich battling away on that right-hand side. Here's Babi Yaro who's got instructions to overlap as often as he can. Lasso might just tuck in field a little to allow him to do that on occasions. This is Gallas, who's become a favourite with the Chelsea fans. Lasso, Babiaro the Nigerian. Those two could quite easily swap positions and they probably wouldn't harm Chelsea at all. Galabona helps it on. Lasso wide, now Hasselbank. Now here's Lasso with a great chance, and he surely must score, and does! Chelsea are ahead in no time at all. And is the Liverpool jinx at Stamford Bridge about to strike again? Well, this Liverpool defence, which has kept five consecutive clean sheets, absolutely asleep there, and Lasso crept in and at the second time of asking put it in the back of the net and the Liverpool defence seemed mesmerised they just didn't pick up Graham Lasso's run at all Reese's up and under style clearance John Terry and Pudicini for all his gallant efforts, could not prevent the corner. Terry getting rave reviews and must be close to a major call-up by Sven Joran Eriksson. His progress being monitored by the week. McAllister, though, with the corner as Liverpool look to bite back quickly. Herpia got the little flick on Kudicini, then off the line by Gallas. And somehow it stays out of that net. Herpia caused havoc with his near post header. Up he goes, there's his little flick on. Cudicini, great bit of work. Gallas as well. And then Herpia again onto the roof 
of the net. McAllister. Herpier again is the target. And this time it was Heskey who got something on it on that near post. Well, this goalkeeper who came from the Italian third division to Chelsea, distinguishing himself since his return to the side. That is a fantastic save. That was the first incident. Stanic with the determined run. Sidude, a strange experience of picking the ball out of the back of his net. He was almost uh, beginning to forget what it felt like. Carragher. And that's a mistake. It's set up Hasselbank. He loves it from out there. And it was on target, and it required a very good save from Dudek. Liverpool being hurried into errors here. That's Lasso putting Carragher under pressure. Possession lost. Of all people to give it to, Hasselbank, and didn't he get hold of it? Good save. Here's Lasso with the corner for a rampant Chelsea. Pressure's really on, and... This time it's uh, Dalla the young Italian who puts the ball wide. Liverpool, remember, held at home nil-nil by Fulham in midweek at Anfield. At Murphy, again he finds Heskey, but a bit unluckily for the big striker. That hit the back of his heel as he was running. Chelsea, by the way, have drawn nine of 16 matches so far. Their only defeats at West Ham and at home here the other day against Charlton. Now then, Gerrard gets in behind. Great opportunity for the equaliser. And Cudicini, who's in great form, saves again. But look at this. It's Fishkan. Has a little bit of time, looks up. Sees Gerard now Babiara rather sold himself. And Gerard got past him and Terry. But Cudicini made a vital save to preserve Chelsea's lead. Here's the corner kick. Carragher. Gary McAllister. Carragher once more. Liverpool beginning to turn up the heat a little here. Even Herpia being pushed forward to join the attack. And Ancho here has given away the corner, and that was needless. He didn't seem under any kind of pressure. Twenty-five minutes gone, Chelsea won, Liverpool nil. Dudek took a little knock, it seemed to me, on his way to the ball, so did well to get something on it. Well, can Chelsea rub it in with a second goal here. So good pace on the ball. And well won by the Liverpool defenders. Dalla is the player who picks it up. It's Lasso again. Quickly closed down by Gary McAllister. Good Johnson with the layoff. Stanic. Malchut plays it in. And good Johnson was crowded out.
Risa down the line. Littman and now Danny Murphy, who's got a more than even chance, I'd say, of being in England's World Cup 22. With his uh, midfield versatility, seems to be able to play in any of the midfield positions. McAllister, now Risa. Better from Liverpool. Can't quite find Heskey, but it's Bishkan! And once again, Kudicini did enough. He says there was a handball in here. There. One or two of the Chelsea players appealing. That would have been a controversial one had it gone in. Bishkan looking for his first Premiership goal. Well, I thought that might have touched Kudicini on the way through. Goal kick given. Good Johnson. Finds Hasselbank. It's Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. And it's 2 0. Well, he is an ace goal scorer, and no doubt. Well, his goal took Chelsea into the semi finals of the Worthington Cup against Newcastle. Good Johnson. And what a lovely finish from Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Lovely ball too from Good Janssen. And Carragher was just shrugged aside. Bank. Lampard onto his right foot and Dudek was in the wrong position in a way but was able to recover the ball and that was really because Lampard couldn't get the shot out from under his feet good opportunity Fishcans on the chase. Galas was across. There's the half-time whistle. Stunning first-half performance, really, by Chelsea, who looked super motivated from the very first whistle. Graham Lasso and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank with the goals. Lampard might have added another one, too. Cudicini had to make a couple of very good saves, mind you. One from under the bar after Herpier had knocked on a corner kick. And then a good save, too, from Steven Gerrard. But Chelsea, a good value for this lead. 2-0 at half-time to Chelsea. And Chelsea, who'd scored only eight goals at home in the league all season before today, have added two here. Claudio Ranieri feels he's taking Chelsea in the right direction. They're certainly a very hard side to beat. Wright joining in on the outside, the substitute. And Liverpool get a corner. And this might be their best hope of getting back into it. Something from a set piece. Not been creating too much in open play. McAllister, Herpio got something on it. Cudicini off the line again. And neither Carragher nor Littmanen. Could apply any kind of finish on the back post. Risa puts it back in there. This time it's easy for Cudicini. But again, this goalkeeper distinguishes himself. And once more, it was McAllister's chip to the near post and Herpia's header that caused the problem.
McAllister hit long. Vaheski who's outnumbered up there. Lippmann, and that's a good ball. Risa on his good left foot. Is that a penalty kick? Mouches challenge and it's given. The referee, Mr. Halsey, is in no doubt at all and points to the spot. Let's look again at the ball. No, he doesn't make any contact with the ball. How much contact was there with Risa? Doesn't much matter, it's given. And Kudicini, who saved a spot kick from Kevin Phillips of Sunderland last week, facing Gary McAllister, who has scored twice from the spot this season, though not yet in the league. And he hasn't still! Kudicini does it two weeks running. Can you believe it? Still 2-0. And Gary McAllister's day is ruined. And now Liverpool may really start to think that there's nothing in this for them. Here's Risa now being booed by the Chelsea fans who feel he made a meal of it. This is the penalty kick. Cudicini guessed right and saved well, low. If it stays like this, it's going to mean that Chelsea move up to sixth place above Tottenham Hotspur. It will also mean they're within six points of Liverpool, the leaders, maybe more significantly. Stanich. Carragher wins it. Carragher quite happy to play anywhere, so long as he gets a game, he says, for his beloved Liverpool. He was uh, born and bred on Merseyside, in fact, born in Bootle. And here he is in possession now. Right. Too long for Heskey, who might get a chance to win it back. Does, finds Murphy. Now Risa! Had to just dig the shot out from under his feet a bit. Didn't have the room to really crack it hard. Liverpool better in the second half. I'm just beginning to ask some questions. And they may still feel they could uh, salvage something from this. But the feeling is they need something quite soon. Carragher. Play on. And for Johnson on his own with Herpia and Ancho. Gets past Erpia, tries the shot, does well. He really manufactured something from nothing there. Ida Good Johnson. Now then, Murphy for Liverpool, and then McAllister denied again by the heroic Carlo Cudicini. What a game this goalkeeper's having. Now, Claudio Ranieri said in the week that Cudicini is my number one keeper around here. Ed De Hoy is fit again. Now he's on the bench today, and I think the way this guy's playing, he's going to stay there. McAllister. Good ball. Finds Risa. Cuts inside. Can he hit it with the right foot? Yes, he can. Cudicini with his legs this time. He was committed to going the other way but just left a trailing leg in there to save it. Now Hasselbank, he's away here. It's Jimmy Floyd, Hasselbank, and he can finish the argument completely, but he can't because Stefan Oncho did a fantastic job in blocking the shot. He delayed it and delayed it and delayed it, and in the end, he delayed it too long. And here's Lasso as Chelsea tried to rub salt into Liverpool wounds with a third. Fabiaro. 
Nope. 20 minutes remaining. Still plenty of time, really, for Liverpool, particularly if they were to just nick one. That would really change the mood of the game, you feel. They might have quite easily grabbed one in this second half. It's been a better performance by Liverpool since the half-time break. And but for Cudicini, they might have been more seriously in the argument than they are. Meanwhile, Dalla in towards Hasselbank. Fed wide for Lasso, who cuts it back, and it's Lampard! And surely, yes, by Sam Dalla 3-0 Chelsea. And that surely locks up the points. Relief all around Stamford Bridge. Because the goal comes after a spell of Liverpool pressure. Since half-time, Lasso's cross falls nicely for Lampard and it deflected there off Carragher. Rather freakishly, Liverpool might feel, to set up Dalla Look at that. First off Carragher, then off Dudek, and it was an open goal. Now here's Hasselbank. He's got a great little burst of pace. And can they finish it there with Good Jonsson? No, once, twice! He still can't put it in the back of the net. Well, Ida Good Johnson must have felt here it was just a matter of time. He thought the angle was a bit difficult, hit it with the left foot. That was a better angle on the volley, but wide. <laughs> Chelsea know the points are pouch now. Zenden. This is played deep towards Good Jonsson, but it's Dudex. That's going to be a long trip back north for Liverpool after this one, and they have to regroup for what is a very big match against Arsenal. We'll have the chance next week to draw level with them at the top if they can win at Anfield. Here's Melchett. Chelsea enjoying themselves, and they might do a bit more here with Zola. Pulls it back, and Good Johnson, second attempt, four goals for Chelsea. And that last one put them above Manchester United up to fifth place. Is Ida Good Johnson. And Liverpool having their noses rubbed into the Stamford Bridge dirt here. Zola, lovely ball down the side. Zola looked up, picked out Good Jonsson. Dudek saved first time, not second. Thank you, say Chelsea. Who are scoring their biggest winner of the season, and it's Liverpool's heaviest defeat. Liverpool just have to hope this is a blip and normal service is quickly resumed. And they can't afford for it to become a bad trot. Gerard, Risa, and Littmanen on the volley, claims handball. But the referee blows the final whistle instead. What a win for Claudio Ranieri's side. And Phil Thompson has had such a great time, really, since taking over from the sick but happily recovering Gerard Houllier has a different kind of reality crowding in on him tonight Chelsea moving to fifth place with a thumping 4-0 win over the league leaders Liverpool Chelsea 4 Liverpool 0 well, it's not every day that you beat the Premier League leaders by four goals, a measure of Chelsea's achievement.
After their progress had stuttered under Gianluca Vialli, Claudio Ranieri was again building a promising squad, spearheaded by the threat of Hasselbank, Gudjonsson and Zola up front. That December afternoon wouldn't have made pleasurable viewing for Gerard Houllier, who was recovering from a heart operation, but better was to come from Liverpool that season. They managed to beat Chelsea at Anfield and finished strongly enough to claim the runners-up spot. Inconsistency was Chelsea's problem. They finished sixth.